The electrical power-up uh, procedure can be found the supplementary procedures and as per uh, the FCOM. Supplementary procedure can be done as a read and do or as a flow. So the first item to do, uh, of course, after checking the logbook is to go to the overhead panel and battery switch guard closed. And then you need to verify that the standby power guard is closed. And then you go to the alternate flaps master switch and verify that the guard is closed. And then you go to the windshield wipers and make sure that they are in park. And then verify that the electric hydraulic pumps switches are in the off position. Now this step is not mentioned in the uh, supplementary procedure, but go ahead and make sure that the position light is in steady and wheel well light switch on. So steady and on. And then verify that the landing gear is in the down position and you have three green lights illuminated and none of the red light illuminated. And now we'll be doing the fire test. So before you do that, go ahead and reset the master caution. And then the fire panel, verify that the overheat detect switches are in the normal position and the fire switches are all in. There are two parts for this test. As you can see here, this is the test switch. You have first the fault in up and then the overheat fire test. So we'll do the fault in up test first and you are looking for five amber lights, five amber lights here. So the fault light is illuminated and then the ABU detect in up light is illuminated here. If this light does not illuminate during this test, do not operate the APU. So as I said, we have two lights here and then the master caution should illuminate in both sides. And on the left side, you should have the overheat detect eliminated as well. So go back to the fire panel, release the switch. And now we'll do the overheat fire test. So as you can hear now the bell sound, so go ahead and verify that the fire warning bell cutout switch is illuminated on both sides and then press either one of them. And we are looking for five or six red lights and five amber lights for this test. The five or six red lights is depending whether you have a ground power connected already or not and then the wheel wheel light will be illuminated as well. But since uh, we don't have any power to the airplane now, so we have only five red lights and five amber lights. So we have the engine one overheat, engine two overheat, and the three fire switches are all illuminated. And I have, we have seen uh, previously this light was illuminated. The master caution light is illuminated on both sides. And the overheat detect as well is illuminated. So two red here and three amber and two amber here and three red so total of five red five amber and then go ahead and release the switch and then we'll check the fire extinguishers so hold the switch in position one verify three green lights eliminated and then hold it in position two and verify three green lights eliminated as well so now we'll go back to the overhead panel to start the APU. So APU switch. You'll hold it in the start position momentarily and then you release. And it will take some time for the APU to start. The EGT will increase, will peak at one point here or somewhere and it decreases and stabilize. The low oil pressure will eliminate, that's normal for the start. And the indication that the APU is ready to load is when you have the this blue light, the abusion of pass light eliminated. All 
Okay, so now we have the abusion off pulse light illuminated. We'll switch the abusion to on on both sides. And what we are looking for is just for the transfer pass off and source of light to be extinguished on both sides. So left, as you can see, the lights went off. And then on the right side as well. And both lights are off. And after you do that, you verify that all those four lights are uh, extinguished. And that is the maintenance, low oil pressure, fault, and overspeed for the APU. So they are all extinguished. And then you verify that the standby power of light is off. Now this step is not in the uh, supplementary procedure, but I think it is uh, a good time to do it now, which is to switch the cabin utility and in-flight entertainment system to on. And after you do that, you return back to the fire panel to complete the fire test. And now we need to verify that the wheel will fire detection system is operating. So we'll hold the switch again to the right. The bell will sound. And this time, we'll have the same lights as before, we should at least, with the addition of the wheel well. So six red lights and five amber lights this time. Bell cutout switch illuminated. You need to verify that the fire warning bell cutout is illuminated on both sides and then press either one of them and as we did before to verify that the master question is illuminated, overheat detect is illuminated on both sides. And actually it is part of the test to press the fire warning cutout switch and make sure that the light remains on after you press it. So the real one light is illuminated. And then you release the switch. The uh, supplementary procedure talks about if the uh, for extended operation of the AB on the ground to uh, extend the uh, DC fuel pump lifetime of the APU, go ahead and switch one of the uh, main fuel pumps on. And the way to do it is just first verify whether you have more than 1,000 pounds in the center tank. Uh, so as you can see, here we have 1,700. So we'll switch one of the uh, center tank pumps on. If you have less than 1,000, then you switch one of the main tank pumps on either the left side or you can use the right side if you want to do some balancing but make sure that the uh, two open the uh, cross feed so we have seen we have more than 1000 pounds in the center tank so switch the left center tank pump on and that is to extend the life of the uh, APU DC fuel pump now let's assume that we don't have uh, 1,000 in the center tank and on the right side we have more than the left side so it's a good idea just to open the cross feed and then switch either one of those pumps on once you are satisfied with the balance then go ahead and cross, close the cross feed and switch one of those pumps on and this pump on uh, another thing that is not mentioned at this point in the uh, electrical power up supplementary procedure but I think it's a good time to do it is to uh, get there going and remember uh, you need to operate the APU for one minute and the one minute starts when this blue light comes on when you start the APU and then you can uh, use the APU bleed for the packs so here we'll switch the recirc fans all to both sides and left back O2, make sure that the isolation valve is open right back O2 and then AB bleed on and that uh, conclude uh, this video and this procedure which is the electrical power up supplementary procedure uh, the next step is the uh, preliminary pre-flight procedure should you have any questions or comments please let me know Thank you for watching.